Good afternoon. I'm thrilled to be here to announce the first partnership-led, admission-led partnership with the IPC. Now this is something that's very important to the city because we firmly believe in diversity and inclusion. We would like to change the perception of people as regards people with disabilities. Especially para-athletes are true champions. And that's why we are also going to launch our slogan that says, Greatness deserves your attention. In the presence of greatness, we feel inspired. In the presence of greatness, we feel motivated. When I chat with Adeline, her energy, her commitment, and her desire to win is infectious. We need to get that message across that people with disabilities can be champions. They can prevail over their challenges. And they can come out at the other end as winners, as Jerome does every time he crosses the finish line. So this is an opportunity for us truly to get that message across and work with volunteers as well as our employees and team members. It's an opportunity for them to get involved. It's an opportunity for them to basically participate. It's an opportunity for them to change perceptions that people with disabilities can be champions and are champions. Thank you. Thank you, Aftar, for a very strong message and your rights. We need to give this all great attention. Now, as you all know, the SEA Games is fast approaching. It will be happening this year. In just a few weeks, it will be held in the new Clark City in Pampanga. After which, the Philippines will be hosting another great sporting event or series of events in 2020. That is the ASEAN Paralympic Games. Now, to tell us more of what's in store for our athletes is the president of the Philippine Paralympic Committee, Mr. Michael Barredo. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I hope everybody's eaten. Uh, am I looking the right way? Right? You. Okay. Bye, pala pakna ulit. That gives me an idea to sang kayo. Anyway, thank you very much for all, all of you coming over. And let me first acknowledge and thank the City Group, City Bank, through its CEO, uh, AFTA, for uh, joining us in this endeavor of of uh, bringing in the Paralympic <coughs> Power Games to Manila this coming January. And of course, being partners with us as we work towards uh, the legacy of having an inclusive society through fire sports. And I hope that uh, the games we are preparing to have this coming January will truly be impacting the Filipinos and of course to the rest of Southeast Asia how important it is to provide opportunities for our people with disabilities to be able to participate in sports and physical fitness programs. The Philippine Paralympics Committee, a member of the International Paralympic Committee, aims to be able to deliver the important vision as well of the world body, which is to have a better inclusive world through sports, or to make an inclusive and better world through sports. And I think that is the same um, vision we would have would want for the Filipinos. So as I mean, uh, for those that don't know yet, we will be having 16 sports. Uh, this coming January 18 is the opening ceremony. <laughs> we're given some uh, uh, information through the distributor. You have, you have some information there. 16 sports and uh, in 14 venues located at Port of New York City, where we have the uh, athletics and swimming. We will have five or six sports in Clark, the main zone, and five or six as well in Subic, and one in Santa Lucia, Cainta, where we will have the para ten team bowling. So most of our sports will really be in the new area, and I hope that um, our athletes coming in from all over Southeast Asia will be uh, happy that we are going to be playing in at least uh, the first, I believe, uh, if not the best, stage we have so far in terms of 
its acceptability accreditation with the international federations, particularly, of course, athletics and swimming. So it's our hope that uh, all of us, and thank you for you people in the press, to uh, help spread the awareness of a shared vision, which is, of course, to be able to make sure that the dreams of our para athletes, especially Adeline Dumato and Cheta here, our bronze medalists in the Sydney Paralympic Games, Gerald Monglingwan here, who is our uh, racer in wheelchairs and athletics, uh, multi gold medalist in the ASEAN and Asian Games. We hope that we can continue to make sure that their hard work and sacrifices in terms of, of uh, training, etc., and winning and glory and honor for the country will be met with, of course, the, uh, the people's appreciation of what they're doing for us. So I hope that uh, we have, you know, it's important that we work together, not only with government. Of course, government always carries the bulk of support and assistance to sports, especially when it comes to people, uh, for us in the Paralympic movement. We are not yet there in the spectator area. Maybe to say we don't have yet spectators. We need to be able to uh, derive, uh, let's say, uh, funds from television, etc., etc. That's why we need the help. But we're happy that we have people or companies like City, uh, not just in the Philippines but worldwide, that are coming together and helping us, being partners, working towards the development and uh, promotion of para sports, Paralympic sports in the world and in our country. So I hope, together with you, we will be able to achieve these objectives and come out with better athletes, a better sports program for our para athletes in the country. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike, for the exciting news and, of course, shedding some light bulbs in store for our athletes. So, as both Aftab and Mike mentioned, the partnership between the City Philippines and the PPC is driven by the need to promote the principles of diversity and inclusion. That is why we are all here today as City and PPC is launching something special to achieve these shared goals. Now to tell us more about this, please welcome City Philippines Head of Public Affairs, Lisa Corey. Hello, good afternoon everyone. I'm so pleased to be here because as part of our sponsorship of the International Paralympic Committee, uh, City globally has made the decision to have a global sponsorship of the International Paralympic Committee. And as part of that, we are also sponsoring the Philippine Paralympic Committee, PPC led by Mike, as you know. Um, this is our first mission-led sponsorship. And what does that mean? It's really because we share the same values as the Paralympic committees. And that's the values of inclusion and equality. City feels very strongly about that. It's part of our own mission. So it made sense for us to partner with the Paralympic committee. So um, today we're announcing Adeline and Gerald becoming part of Team City. This means that they are two of 41 para-athletes being sponsored by City around the world. So they're called Team City Athletes. So congratulations, Adam and Gerald. So uh, for us in the Philippines, of course, it's particularly special because we're hosting the 2020 ASEAN Para Games, as you all know. And so we at City Philippines are launching an ad campaign uh, to raise awareness of the para, para sports and the ASEAN Para Games coming up through Gerald and Adam. So we're very excited to preview this campaign. You're the first to see it. You will see. Firstly, after I've talked about our handle, greatness deserves your attention. And you will see what that looks like. So I think we can put it up on the screen if you can look at the screen. There we have our stars, Adeline and Gerald. So you will see that ad in the next few weeks and there will be different versions of it into December and January leading up to the ASEAN Para Games. And as another teaser, we also have two videos, one focused on Adeline and one focused on Gerald. And we're gonna preview this for you today. And you are the first also to see this. We're gonna be showing this on our Facebook page and you'll see this through digital means. So here we go.
sorry. We will pause this technical difficulty. Gerald's video. We just want to make sure that everybody has a good viewing experience because this is the first time we're all seeing this. It's actually the first time I'm seeing it as well. So we want to make sure that everybody gets a good look. Can we show admins also? There we go. And again, a round of applause that is truly a great message. Greatness deserves your attention. Now, let's give our attention to the stars of the campaign who are with us here today. Please give a warm welcome to the Philippines para wow lifter, Adeline Bumapo Ancheta, and wheelchair racer Gerald Magliwan, our para athletes. Come on, go in front, our team city athletes. Now, I want to ask you, she has a big smile on her face, Adam, and I want to ask you, how does it feel seeing that on the screen?